Ooh, okay, hold on. I think <laughs> I think I messed something up. I'm just gonna have to get some clippers because no, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. Okay. Hey, what's up, y'all? Today I have a very exciting video. I'm gonna be doing a big chop. Now, I'm not going natural. I've been natural for four years. My hair is just dead, so it has to go. Everything must go. It doesn't deserve to be attached to my head anymore. I'm fed up. So yeah, I'm gonna be cutting it. Now, the first time I big chopped, which is when I was going natural, I just transitioned for three months with braids and then went to the salon and they shaved it off because I really couldn't be bothered. I wasn't about that having two different textures of hair on your head life, which is why my hair right now was irking me so much. So yeah, I'm gonna just see what I can do. Now for context, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, this is not a tutorial, but so that this isn't a complete train wreck, I'm gonna be calling my aunt who's a retired hairstylist so that she can walk me through some of it. And if worse comes to worse, I'm gonna just shave it off. And that's gonna be that on that. So if you're curious to see how this turns out, stick around. <laughs> There's really no point in explaining much of what I'm doing just because this process was chaotic and we already established that I had no clue what I was doing. So instead, I'm just going to let you all watch this transformation process while I tell you a story. So, last December, I dyed my hair this caramel blonde color. I always wanted to dye my hair that color. I was sick of my black hair. It was just so boring to me. Wanted to switch it up, you know, serve some looks. I was inspired by Queen Latifah because her hair has just always been on point. Like, it's never not done what it needed to do. So, I decided to, you know, go for that look and I loved it. Originally I had my natural hair color at my root and then added some brown that transitioned to a blonde and after a few months I was like you know what I actually think it would look really nice if I took this brown color all the way up to the root and added a little bit more blonde. So this past July that's exactly what I did and when I looked in the mirror I was like this is it like I was obsessed I feel like the color suits my skin tone perfectly and everything was great until I washed my hair I looked in the mirror and my hair said and I was just like huh okay previous times that I've gotten my hair pressed it has taken a couple of days for my curls to spring back so I was just like okay I'll just give it some time but you know, I waited and I waited and I did a protein treatment and these curls just weren't trying to get in formation. So I was just like, I bet I guess I'm gonna have to cut it. So we here. <laughs> I was really excited to cut my hair. Anybody that knows me knows that I say I'm gonna shave my head at least twice a week. I did let my hair grow out after my first big chop out of curiosity and just wanting to try different styles. But I always knew that one day one day I would return to my bald headed roots. This is the mirror I was looking into while I was cutting my hair. I ended up having to blow dry it just because my shrinkage was making it difficult for me to see what I was actually cutting. And this is me the next day after it had dry, I ended up having to take some more off in the back to make it even. And now on to the reveal. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I just styled it in a wash and go. What do y'all think? I really like it. This process was not easy for me, but I think it turned out really good. So yeah, tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.